Hello and welcome to EasyCon 2019, the 49th annual conference of Endocrine Society of India here in Nagpur. I have with me now Dr. Sanjay Badada the PG, from PGI Chandigarh. So you have just delivered a wonderful lecture and we are going to talk on the same topic here. So first of all, could you please briefly tell us about the problem of a hip fracture? Okay, thank you uh, for the opportunity. Actually, what I was talking is the secondary fracture prevention, specially related to the hip fracture and it is a major health issue. The reason is that, first of all, with increasing age of the population, the number of patients of hip fracture are increasing. And the second is that, in spite of hip fracture, people are not giving due credit or due attention to this disease. That's why patients are fracturing time and again, and that is the major problem. Right. As you said that the problem is increasing, it's day by day, and people are not paying attention. So, uh, I would like you to specify more on the prevention of okay. this problem. So, basically if we talk about the hip fracture, there are the multiple ways by you can take care of the hip fractures. Mm -hmm. In small, in short, I can say that can you can use three P's. Mm -hmm. So, P1 is the prosthesis and plates, that is for the orthopedic surgeon after the hip fracture. Okay. Step 2 or the P2 is that related to the pharmacotherapy, the medical management mm -hmm. on the hip fracture. Right. Step 3 is the prevention of fall or you can say how to do the fall prevention because until unless a people will fall, right. he will not develop the fracture. True. So that is the fall prevention is very very important. Okay. So there are multiple ways by we can do the fall prevention. Mm -hmm. Like uh, in our study what we found is that the most common place of fall is home itself, not right. the outdoor. Right. And in even the home, the most, play, most common place is either bedroom or bathroom. bathroom. So I would like to say something important facts about the fall prevention in home itself. Mm -hmm. Then we'll talk something about the outside how to prevent the fall. Yeah. So in home that uh, from bedroom to bathroom, the way should be very clear and clean. There should be nothing between the bed to the bathroom. Okay. Because the elderly people, those are staying in that area, mm -hmm. they may tumble because of anything in yes. the as a obstruction. Yes. When they enter into the bathroom, mm -hmm. often it has been seen that the switch of light is inside the bathroom. True. It should be outside the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So before entering, they can switch on the light and they can see what is inside rather yes. than entering and then switching, switching on, the on the light. So that is issue. Third important thing is that many a time we, it's a common practice to have in the bathroom light is dim or small light or the less lucency light. Yes. So it should be good, well lit bathroom should be there. Then after entering to the bathroom, it mm -hmm. should be all the time clean and it should be wiped before wiped, coming any yes. person outside because mm -hmm. there are very high chances that they will slip yes. into the bathroom. Then the bathroom should be meant or the toilet should be like that for the elderly person. They need some help to catch hold of that. Suppose they have some tripping or something, they can hold up. There should be a bar in the bathroom so they yeah. can catch hold of that. Mm, yes. And then the facility should be like that. Uh, the everything there in easy access like their bucket, if they are talking, uh, taking by a shower or by the mug, everything will be there assessed so that yes. they can use it perfectly. Yes. Then the third thing comes is that then if they are going outside the home, mm -hmm. never go in the slippers or chappals or high heels right. because that can be a cause for the trip and they may fall and they will fracture. Yes. Avoid going a place which is very crowded mm -hmm. and where the chances of some uh, say crowd or something like they should avoid because there is chances of fracture right. outside because of the fall. So there is multiple things you can do to prevent the fall and some medications are known to cause the sedation uh -huh. or lowering the blood pressure. Mm -hmm. So these drugs should be before prescription prescribing, they should be informed to the patient that these drugs can cause such kind of problem. Right. So be aware of that, right. should not start in the full dosage, they should mm -hmm. start in the small dosage and gradually build up the dosage so that they will not have the side effect of that. In addition to that, mm -hmm. there is a term used as fracture liaison services. Okay. It was started by International Osteoporosis Foundation and in India also there is these fracture liaison services are started. Mm -hmm. The purpose of this fracture liaison service is that we'll identify a patient mm -hmm. of hip fracture, we investigate the patient and we treat the patient. For that, we need a team. Right. The team will include an orthopedic surgeon an endocrinologist mm -hmm. and a nursing staff. So orthopedic surgeon will do the required surgery. Yes. 
the endocrinologist or the physician will do the pharmacotherapy and the nursing assistants will do the techniques to prevent the fall prevention oh. and they will also follow up the patient with they are they taking their medications regularly right. or not right. or they are adhering to their treatment or not so right. that should be done in the multi one team approach right. so everybody is there and in addition to that they should have good nutrition good physical activity so that a balance and their less chances of the fall fall right thank you so much sir uh, you have talked about uh, medical management for the same issue uh, are there any is there anything else that can be take care of uh, other thing is nutrition is very important for mm -hmm. every age group mm -hmm. in addition to that we found that diabetes is another reason that can cause a problem or more fracture in the patients of the type 2 diabetes so these individuals should be given due attention to them regular screening for the osteoporosis right. before developing a fracture you should screen the patient mm -hmm. if they are prone for the osteoporosis they should be treated okay and if the patient develop the hip fracture then they are should be the kind of low hanging fruit we have to pick them right. and we have to follow them carefully closely to so that they cannot develop the next fracture, next fracture. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, this was Dr. Sanjay Bhadada from uh, PGI Chandigarh. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am, for, for your opportunity. Us. Thank you very much.